Katia Fuki, the Della Maria Antoinette. Bani Mukubala, Techeta Kakogira, which said, What we nature Kogira, Sirikako. While President Museveni has been attacked bitterly, stand by for the details. Well, in other news, I have come to tell you the main reason why Monica Karunji committed suicide in Dubai. This is very heartbreaking. And finally, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba is very disappointed. There is a possibility of castling his presidential bid for 2026. Stand by for the details. Well, a very good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly do subscribe and also do tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, welcome back from the ED celebrations yesterday. And I hope that you had fun with your family and friends. <music> Now, going to our main stories for now, let's kick start with Monica Karunji. Now, on Sunday, everyone was left astonished after having a look at a viral video of a Ugandan girl called Monica Karunji falling off a building from the ninth floor and died on spot. Now, according to sources, Monica was 23 years and she's said to be a daughter of the late Muse Philip Rubakari of Chembara, that is in Isinjiro district. Now, having watched that gruesome video, everyone was saying that at least she would have talked to her closest friends. You never know, they would have tried to find a solution for whatever she was going through at the time. Right now, we are all still questioning what was the reason why Monica decided to take her life just like that. However, according to some sources, uh, they have told us that Monica had a boyfriend right here in Uganda and she loved him so big time. Uh, she was even sending him good money. But guess what? Uh, recently, Monica got to know that this guy got married to another lady and she couldn't believe it. And that is how she ended up throwing herself down. Maybe because she was thinking about how much she had invested in this guy, how much she had given this guy, and she was very disappointed and just decided to end her life just like that. However, this information hasn't been confirmed as the main reason why she committed suicide, but that's what is making rounds among her peers. Anyway, whatever experience she was going through, to me killing herself wasn't the ultimate solution to go for. And right now, all we can say is rest in peace, Monica. May God judge you with mercy. Well, in other news, President Museveni has been attacked by spokespersons of political parties in Uganda, that is National Unity Platform, Forum for Democratic Change, and Democratic Party. Now, recently, President Museveni said that Ugandans should stop crying that there is no wheat, no bread, but should rather start eating cassava. You, you, you are crying that there is no, no wheat. I don't eat bread myself. If there is no bread, eat mogo. Mogo is here. So, I think as a country, we should plan that in the next budgets, maybe in the other one, we are now not able, but deal with the issue of irrigation. For me, I'm not concerned with anything. If we ever want to, Uganda has got everything. There's nothing we lack. It is a question of just waking up. Even in the next few years, we shall be having our petroleum here. And we have got other energy sources, so all those don't concern us. It is the, it, it is the only one I, I think now we must look at is irrigation, because that's what is the one which can cause us real, real problems. Now, the spokespersons of political parties in Uganda have responded to this big man. Now, Horrible Semu Junganda, member of parliament from Kira municipality and also the spokesperson of FDC, says that President Museveni should get serious because even the cassava he's talking about is not for free. <laughs> Muria Mugo cut him for Chokurio Mugat, adding Anga Gaman to Mugo, you are wearied. In the one when Chikida Muchira Timuria Muya de Emitia Vija Mugo Alinga Omuntua Funya or Lugaro, Ngawaliwa Balema, a chono Sichirunji no Mugo Guayo Geraco. Guabay no near Nakus, in fact, Bayamugo, Eogero Kurin Yabuchi Serra, Kubanga, Mwendo Jamafta, Nadala Dizel. 
kubanga bimoto ke bitambuza uh, muwogo because it's a diesel diesel ayo ngero okulinya kati tetumanyi ndoza ante kisera kigenda tuka president agambe abantu abali mu bibuga nti muddeyo mu byalo kubanga ne muwogo genda kutuka kisera nga ne muwogo tachalabika now, Horrible Joel Senyonyi, the spokesperson of NUP, says President Museveni should rather keep quiet instead of speaking out what Ugandans don't want to hear and at the end of the day he's embarrassed. Amanyibe ya muogo. Jefukile, kati jefukile dela Maria Antoinette. Bani mkubala ata, elanze ngamba nti, techeta aga kuogira bulichisira, watu inacha kuogira, siri kako. Now, these spokespersons of political parties also commented on the issue of petrol in the country. Amaftaga Uganda, Gafuse Ganyana. Obzi wetu ina wanansi watategeranti. Awantu awata descent nyingi mkusima maftagano, si government. Katikampa di ezizende ziteka msende, zitalo, sino konendara. Wanusi wezi ina maftawoka. Zigeenda ziga jamu mitundu ya vienja ulo. Tizi nawa kutusa. Tizi nawa za katonda. Uh, Nti ya mafuta gacha aleme deyo wanseyo. Mwemusevi ni aso kagende. Tufunovu kule mbezo uja. Um, Uvunaru miliru wa mundu wabulijo. Uvujo sovula okoze sa ovulu unji sente za mafutezo. Well, there you go. Those are some of the spokespersons of political parties right here in Uganda. Well, in other news, it has finally been confirmed that the majority of Ugandans on Twitter do not want President Museveni's son, that is Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba, to stand for president in 2026 general elections. Now, yesterday, Muhozi Kainerugaba commissioned an opinion poll on Twitter and asked his followers to retweet if they really want him to stand for president in 2026 and those who do not want to just hit the like button. Uh, he actually posted all those who want me to stand in 2026 retweet all those who don't like now at the time i recorded this story uh, 13969 people had taken part in the opinion poll now guess what uh, 3,569 people supported the idea of Muhozi standing for president in 2026, as you can see right there on your screen. 3,569, that is something like 25.5%. And 10,400 people voted to ask Muhozi Kainerugaba not to make a mistake of standing for president in 2026. As you can see right there, 10.4 people. Uh, that's something like 74.5%. So it's finally been confirmed that the majority of his followers on Twitter do not want this big man to run for president in the coming elections of 2026. Well, I do not know exactly which reasons these people have as to why they don't want him to run for president in 2026. And I also do not know if this result is going to make him change his mind. But what I can confirm is that he later tweeted that very soon he will be announcing his political program. So I don't think this result from the opinion poll will make him change his mind on what he wants to achieve. Otherwise, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything, and definitely I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Uh, what you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.